Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reset your Windows 10 computer to factory settings, so basically a clean refresh of your operating system. So I would recommend backing up any files, documents, pictures, etc. that are on your computer to an external media source like a flash drive, USB drive, etc. Basically any medium that isn't your main hard drive so that when we do our factory reset you'll be able to locate your files at a later time put them back on your computer if you chose to do so so with that disclaimer or a little I should say piece of advice out of the way we're going to jump right into it so we're going to start by opening up the start menu and you want to either type in settings or left click on the little gear icon where if you hover over it says settings on the left so again you can type in settings if you want but you want to get to a screen that looks like this and now you want to scroll down on the side until you get to the update and security tile. You want to left click on that option. And now on the left, left click on the recovery tab or option on the left. And now our attention is going to shift to the right here underneath recovery where it says reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstalls Windows. Left click on the get started button. Now for the purpose of this video, we're going to select the remove everything option, which will remove all your personal files, apps, and settings. It's going to say this won't take long, and then we're going to get a couple more prompts here we're going to have to address. It's going to ask you want to clean the drives too. The first option is going to be just a quick pass, which should be able to reinstall Windows just fine. The second option is more so if you're going to be donating your computer so to remove files and clean the drive. So if you're passing your computer on to a different party, I would consider selecting that one. However, for the purpose of this video, and it's also a quicker method as well, I'm going to select just remove my files. It's more of just a security thing if you wanted to completely remove your Windows operating settings down the road. So our last prompt before we begin is going to say ready to reset this PC. Again, we're going to confirm here that resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC all apps and programs as well as any changes made to settings this will take a while and depending on your hardware specifications it could take a little longer or shorter again depending on the speed of your computer at this point I'm just going to left click on the reset button here this will take a few minutes and your PC will restart so please be patient give it some time to run here at this point it doesn't really require too much user interaction until we actually have to input some computer information as if we were reinstalling Windows which is what we are doing so do not be surprised by that fact so we're just gonna let this run for a while here
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, so our computer has reset, so you guys should be good to go. If you want to put any programs back on your computer, put any files, pictures, documents, whatever you would want to put on your computer, it's pretty much yours again. It should be pretty fresh as well. So I would recommend also creating a restore point once you're done getting your basic configuration set up as well just always a good practice that I like to follow but I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.